Welcome back to PassFab. Have you recently found yourself locked out of your iPhone due to multiple incorrect passcode attempts, watching the lock screen time tick by, and feeling increasingly anxious? Worry not, in today's video, we'll delve into a helpful guide on how to unlock your iPhone without a password. We have three solutions to help you regain access to your iPhone. Before we begin, an important note, the following methods will erase your device to resolve the forgotten password issue. If you have critical data that is not backed up, please proceed with caution. Solution 1. Using the Forgot Passcode option, enter previous passcode. This is a straightforward approach, so let's go through the steps together. Enter the wrong passcode multiple times until your iPhone displays iPhone unavailable. You will then see the Forgot Passcode option on the screen. Select this. We have two options to unlock the device, using the old password to change it or resetting it with the iPhone. Let's try using the old password first. Click on Enter Previous Passcode, type in your old password, and then set a new one. If you've forgotten the old password, we can opt for an iPhone reset. Solution 2. Using the Forgot Passcode option, iPhone Reset. Go back to the Forgot Passcode interface. Select the iPhone Reset option to initiate the reset process. You will need to enter your Apple ID password to sign out and begin the reset. The reset will take a few minutes. Once completed, your iPhone will display the Hello screen allowing you to set it up as a new device or recover from a backup. Remember, this method is only effective if certain conditions are met. If it doesn't work, move on to the next solution. Solution 3. Bypass Lock Screen using PassFab iPhone Unlocker. Click the link in the video description to download the PassFab iPhone Unlocker software. Connect your iPhone to your computer. Open PassFab iPhone Unlocker. Click Start. Put your iPhone into recovery mode by pressing the volume up and down buttons, then holding the power button. We have successfully entered recovery mode. Click the Download option and wait for the firmware to download. Once downloaded, Click Start Remove to begin the process. After the process is finished, your iPhone will be set up as a new device. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more iPhone tips. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.